So I've mentioned in the past that I sometimes use AI bots like Midjourney to create some of the thumbnails for my channel, right? Like this one, for example, on my latest video, this is not a real person. I generated this image using Midjourney. So a few people have inquired and said, hey, can you quickly explain to us how you create these images using Midjourney and how that actually works? Because at this point, Midjourney is out of the invite only phase, so anyone can use it. So you as well can create incredible images. You just need to know how. So I'm gonna give you a really quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get there. So you wanna start in Google and search for Midjourney Discord invite, right? So when you do that, you're gonna to come to this link and I'll put that link down in the description as well. So if for some reason this doesn't pop up in your Google search, you can just follow the link down in the description. If you click that link and follow it or put it up in your browser, it will open a window that looks a little bit like this. And what this is, is basically it's forwarding you onto the Midjourney Discord channel. Now you need to have Discord installed. If you don't have it installed, just type in Discord download. You can then just go to discord.com, download Discord for Windows, Windows and install it. I don't think I need to explain to you how that works. Once you've installed Discord, you follow the link that I just showed you and that's in the description and it will take you straight to the Midjourney Discord server because Midjourney is an AI bot that works through Discord. So in the beginning, you're probably gonna be thrown into one of those channels up here, announcements, status and so on, kind of a welcome channel, but you can scroll down and you'll see there are these so-called newbie channels. Now these channels are basically for anyone who's new to Midjourney to just have a play, okay, and play around a bit. But they are also great for you to understand how Midjourney works because above every generated image, you will see the prompt that these people used to generate that image. So before you get started and use the limited prompts that you have, because if you're not subscribed to Midjourney and pay for it, then you have a limited amount of images that you can actually generate. So it does make sense before you get started to kind of read through some of those prompts and get an idea of what works and what prompts people are actually using to get to specific results. Now, if you want to generate an image, the way this works is you go down here, you like again, you join one of these newbie channels, you go down to the message prompt and type in forward slash imagine. Once you type in forward slash imagine and press tap, it will open this little prompt window, okay? And here you can type in anything you want. Try to be as descriptive as possible, be as clear as possible. Don't make it too long. You can add prompts like photorealistic, a hand-drawn illustration or a Van Gogh painting or whatever, depending on what style you look for in the art that you want to generate. So let's do one real quick just so I can show you guys how it works. Let's type in old man sitting on the beach eating a Sunday roast dinner, Vincent Van go style okay just so i can show you guys what i mean again you can also just put in like concept art or deviant art or something then you'll get a completely different result but we're going to go with the van gogh style just for the uh, illustration purposes of this example so then you press enter you can see the mid journey bot is now starting to queue up your request. It's currently saying waiting to start and then at some point it will pop up in this chat as the image that you ask for it. Now, the image is being generated, right? So you can see here the image doesn't appear out of nowhere. It often gets rendered over like a few layers. So you need to wait a little moment until your image is fully rendered. And this is the result that Midjourney has given me now based on my prompt. Now, what I can do is if I, for example, say, oh, well, the image here on the top right is exactly what I was looking for. I can either say U2, which means upscale image number two, right? So it's image one, two, three, four. Or alternatively, I can say, I want to see a few variations uh, of, of this particular image. Then I can click V2, which means create variations of image number two. Obviously, I could also pick image number three or four. These numbers literally just refer to the images in the order I just showed you. And so now you can optimize your image, you can create variations of your image, you can upscale your image, get a high-res version of it, and that's basically how Midjourney works. Now, I mentioned in the beginning that you don't have unlimited images that you can generate. If you wanna keep an eye on how many images you have left, you have to type in forward slash info. Okay, forward slash info, if you press enter, will give you a little bit of a breakdown of how many images you generated overall, okay, how long that took, how many minutes of render time you have left that you can use for free. It shows you what subscription model you're on. And I recommend keeping a close eye on that because if you just wildly keep generating and upscaling and creating variations all the time, you will run out of free minutes to generate images very quickly. So just be aware of that and keep an eye on that. And that's basically it. That's how Midjourney works. Obviously, the whole thing is a science in itself. The more time you spend with it, the more you optimize your prompts and figure out what language the AI likes and what leads to which results, 
you'll improve, you'll get better results. But it's a great tool when it comes to generating simple images. And let me add, while you're in Discord already, this channel has a Discord as well. I put the link to that down in the description as well. So you can just follow the link so you can share your mid-journey creations on our Discord with the community, get some feedback and thoughts from other people on your artwork on your AI generated artwork. So I hope this video helped you. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel for more. And I hope to see you in the Discord. Take care of yourselves and I'm out. Bye.